Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. Dear friends, do you know? China has made a breakthrough in the 5 nanometers packaging process, which is big news. What is even more surprising is that the Netherlands immediately lifted the restrictions on China's lithography machines. This is simply a double happiness, which makes people have to sigh that China's semiconductor industry is really getting better and better. Let's first talk about what this 5 nanometers packaging process is. In fact, the packaging process is to wrap the manufactured chips with various materials and protect them so that they can work normally in various harsh environments. This 5 nanometers packaging process is like putting on an ultra-thin protective suit for the chip, making the chip's performance more stable, faster, and lower power consumption. In the past, this high-end packaging process was in the hands of some international manufacturers. If China wanted to use it, it would cost a lot of money and depend on others' faces. But now it's different. China has made a breakthrough in this technology. In the future, it will be able to produce this high-end packaging process chip by itself and no longer have to be controlled by others. It feels like we have a chef at home. We can make whatever delicious food we want to eat by ourselves, and we don't have to wait in line outside. So what's the matter with the Netherlands lifting restrictions on lithography machines in China? We know that lithography machines are key equipment for chip manufacturing. Without them, we can't produce high-end chips. In the past, ASML, a Dutch company, was the overlord in the field of lithography machines. The lithography machines they produced were extremely precise and were the only choice for manufacturing high-end chips. However, for some reasons, the Dutch government has been restricting ASML from exporting high-end lithography machines to China, which has had a great impact on the development of China's semiconductor industry. But now, the situation has changed. Because of China's rapid development in the semiconductor field, the Dutch government can't sit still, and they have lifted restrictions on China's lithography machines. What does this mean? It means that Chinese semiconductor companies can import more advanced lithography machines from the Netherlands in the future and can produce chips with better performance and more advanced technology. This is simply a great thing. You think, in the past, we didn't necessarily buy high-end lithography machines if we wanted them. Now, the Dutch government has taken the initiative to leave restrictions and Chinese semiconductor companies can take this opportunity to vigorously develop their own chip industry and increase the self-sufficiency rate of chips and no longer have to worry about chips. Then someone may ask, why did the Dutch government suddenly lift the restrictions on China's lithography machines? In fact, this is inseparable from China's rapid development in the semiconductor field. Do you know? China's semiconductor industry has developed so fast in recent years. From design to manufacturing, from packaging to testing, all links are constantly improving and breaking through. Just like the 5 nanometers packaging process breakthrough mentioned earlier, it is a good example. This is not only a technological breakthrough, but also a microcosm of the overall strength of China's semiconductor industry. The Dutch government has also seen China's rapid development in the semiconductor field and China's market potential. They understand that if they continue to restrict the export of lithography machines to China, they will not only lose the huge Chinese market, 
but also make Chinese semiconductor companies work harder to develop their own technology and eventually get rid of their dependence on them. Therefore, after weighing the pros and cons, the Dutch government decided to lift the restrictions on China's lithography machines. This is both a recognition of the development of China's semiconductor industry and a consideration of their own interests. So what does this mean to people? In fact, it means a lot. First of all, it means that people will be able to buy electronic products with better performance and more advanced technology in the future. Secondly, this also means that China's semiconductor industry will prosper and develop more. Think about it, China's semiconductor industry has not developed smoothly in the past due to various restrictions and suppression. But now it is different. China has mastered the core technology, and the semiconductor industry will usher in a period of vigorous development. Furthermore, this also means that China's international status in the field of science and technology will be further improved. Think about it, China has been suppressed and restricted by the West in the field of science and technology in the past, but now it is different. China has mastered the core technology, and its international status will be more stable and improved. This will not only enhance China's self-confidence and national pride, but also make China more powerful on the international stage. Of course, China cannot be complacent because of its achievements. After all, the semiconductor industry is a highly competitive and complex field. Although China has made some breakthroughs and progress, there is still a certain gap compared with international giants. Therefore, China must continue to work hard, continue to innovate, and continue to break through and strive to achieve more brilliant results in the semiconductor field. Then someone may ask, how will China's semiconductor industry develop in the future? In fact, I can't say for sure about this question, but I can be sure that the future of China's semiconductor industry must be full of hope and opportunities. With China's continuous investment and support in the field of science and technology, and with the continuous efforts and breakthroughs of Chinese companies in technological innovation and product research and development, I believe that China's semiconductor industry will usher in a better tomorrow. By then, China will not only be able to produce chips and electronic equipment with better performance and more advanced technology, but also compete with international giants on the international stage. That's what it means to be truly proud. The achievements of China's semiconductor industry today are inseparable from the hard work and selfless dedication of every scientific researcher. They are like a group of unknown behind-the-scenes heroes who use their wisdom and sweat to contribute to China's semiconductor industry.